and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we make a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for a more meaningful life. So, without further ado, let's show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. We've got a fun packed day today. We are off to bed with auction. We're quite partial to going to the auction. But guess what? Deb's never been. You've always wanted to go to an auction, haven't you? Oh, she's gathering sweets for the journey. So come on, let's go. And off we go. <laughs> we are not looking to buy today. Oh no, we got enough stuff in our life. So we're not looking to buy, but we're just going for the auction experience. So here we are, let's go. That's a lot of lily, but. And that's very similar to the one that we've got. <laughs> We're not supposed to be buying. 5337. Old sleigh. Lovely trunks, love these. No, Mr. Warner. Look at that, that's an amazing piece of furniture. Look at this. Look, that is amazing. I love her dolls. Oh, it's just like a, it's just like a um, cupboard. Oh, wow. You could do something special with that. So that's us, we've left the auction, we didn't buy anything, we were close weren't we Deb? We were close. We, we, were close. <laughs> we saw this gorgeous, this gorgeous pot which we both really liked and we, we were going to bid. But then when the lot came up for sale it was actually a whole table full of stuff weren't yeah. it Deb? Too no, Glenn, there, Glenn wouldn't have been happy if we'd have... We've got enough, we've yeah. got enough <laughs> So we are leaving Bedford now and we are now heading to London Coney where we're going to go through the garden stuff. It, how long do you reckon it's going to take Glenn? About half an hour, something like that? What, to get there? Yeah. 48 minutes. 48 minutes? Well, that's minutes? what it was if I'd gone the right way. Oh, we, we've gone know. a... We, we, we're we're on scenic. a detour. The There's nothing scenic about this route, Mr. Warner. <laughs> That's a whole lot of daffodils there. Well, we're right in the middle of a storm here. The wind is whipping up and the rain is pouring. The mission is to sort out what Deb wants to keep. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of pots, a lot of stuff. The rain stop play. It's pouring out there. We have done a stellar job of emptying the pots. Deb's just doing one more now. I've sent loads of pictures to Harry, Hayley, and Chloe. See what they'd like from the garden. Now me and Beth, they haven't got a garden. So they don't need no garden pots. And we've got trees in pots. We've got flowers in pots. We got a whole lot of things. Oh, Deb comes. Oh, the rain is coming. Come on, Mr. Warner. Come on. Oh, it's nasty out there. We need to do some pruning to get the trees in. So this tree has got quite a lot of growth on and Chloe wants the tree but it's not going to fit in the van so sorry Chloe we're going to have to do a bit of a bit of cutting back so it may look like you're just getting a a, a stick <laughs> well will it fit I'm not sure about taking this piano down down those steps it's got to be done says Glenn Deb and Glenn are, are confident confident that they're going to be able to lift this piano okay <laughs> I think it's just me that's saying a word of caution here, guys. There's a lot of steps to go down. Is it on wheels? No. <laughs> Maybe, oh. That's heavy. Yeah, that's really heavy. It's going to need two of us. Two of us, Deb. Oh, oh Glenn's, Glenn, he's, Glenn's going for it. So it's decided, we're gonna move the piano. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure. Me and Deb are going on one end. Glenn on the other, it's still raining outside. We've got a five minute reprieve, which I'm grateful for, because to be honest, I think we need two or three other people here. These are steps that are gonna be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> like we're actually doing this, guys. Step. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe we did that. I cannot believe we took that piano down those steps. <sighs> well, guess what? Go on then, Glenn. Gotta do it all again when we get back. Oh, oh, no, I think the hard work's done now. The hard work, getting that piano down those steps into that van, it's got to be easier when we get to the other end. It's got to be. It turned into a nice sunny day now. So we're back at Deb's and before we get that piano in, we're going to have a cup of tea. Right, cup of tea, drunk, biscuits eaten. Let's get this stuff out the van. Are these mine? Which one? Do you want to stop? You've got to learn to play this, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> the piano is in! <laughs> Deb's just gone, oh, I don't like it there. Uh, that's where it's staying, Deb. That is where it's staying. I think Glenn and Deb have just done themselves an injury getting that through the door. <laughs> Deb really don't like it there. <laughs> Deb's like, don't like it there. Today is turning into a busy day. It's not over yet. Oh no. Chloe and Aaron their caravan window is leaking and they're going away next weekend. It's actually a little bit worse than leaking, it's falling off. Oh, it's falling out? It's yeah, falling that, off. Oh, it's falling off? Yeah, the bracket's not holding it that, on That's anymore. bad, that's bad. And Chloe was like, Dad, could you come round and fix it? And we've only got today because we are going back to Devon tomorrow and we've got a full pack day tomorrow before we go away. So, yes, Glenn said, I can come round. <laughs> but only today, only right now. So that's where we're going. And it's handy because Chloe's got a couple of trees from Glenn's mum and dad's garden in the back of the van here, which have got Chloe's name on. I'm so looking forward to seeing Chloe. I have not seen her for ages. Well, it feels we like her, ages. We saw her the other yeah, day. it was like a super Sunday, quick, super quick visit. So, yeah, I want to give Chloe a big hug. Mr. Warner, what are you doing? taking the window out. Oh, it's that new open air field. Oh, so going from I said that to Carl, I said it could be the new summer version. Yeah, yeah. yeah we camp in the summer. Yeah, that's it. O only summer camping. Water has been behind it. Okay. And it's made the screws come out. It's screwed straight into the plastic as well. Is it fixable? Yeah, just hard work getting this stuff off of there. So, I'm editing this week's video. While the video is rendering, me and Chloe, we are going out for a walk with the dogs. Oh. Chloe, you are the dog lady. I am the dog lady. <laughs> just walked out the door and it looks like it's going to pour with rain. So, I'm going to have to jog to keep up with these guys. We're back! <laughs> we left Chloe's, we went back, picked up Deb, and now we're picking up a Chinese takeaway. The thing is, in this row of shops, there's two Chinese takeaways, <laughs> and Chloe's ordered it, and we're not entirely sure which one from. Yeah, we're hoping Glenn's gone into the right one. Good morning, and welcome to Sunday. It's, it's a fairly early start. We've got a busy day. We're cramming a lot in. First stop is the boat, where we need to pick up a couple of bits because we're heading down to Devon later. So we are at Teal, all is well. All is well, we just wanted to check in, um, make sure everything's all right. I've just uh, raided the uh, grocery cupboard and gonna take all those ingredients down with me, down to the caravan where I can cook up a storm. Can you see on the back seat? Bought a couple of Easter eggs, one for Deb, one for my mum grandkids I'm just gonna give them some cash they can then either buy easter eggs or strawberries it's up to them some of them don't like chocolate that much so we are ready we've come back to deb's deb cooked us a delicious bacon sandwich Mwah! it was lovely now we are heading out to meet up with evie because it was her birthday in the week we're gonna have lunch but we got a couple of errands to run en route as always so come on let's go so we've stopped off in town i've picked up my pres prescription we're now heading to the office pick something up there and then we'll be picking my mum up 
then we'll be going for lunch. Just pick mum up. Yeah, mum's been busy this morning. Mum helps at a breakfast club with her friend Leslie. Was it busy? Yes. Very busy this morning. So here we are, Western Fable. This is where we are meeting now, me and Mark and the kids. See that? So I'm not exactly sure where it is we're meeting. Apparently it's by W8 Smiths. Yeah, here we are, here we are. Right, Evie's opening her, her birthday stuff. <laughs> Easter, Easter. Have you seen what? <laughs> Where's folding money? Can I swap my feta actually for pepperoni? I'm going savoury pancake, Mum. I actually no, like pineapple no. on a pizza. I don't like pineapple, though. Mia, Mia. That's not the same size as you. What, what have you got uh, in there? Nutella and oh, strawberries. I want one over here. <laughs> What's she got in there? Strawberries and Nutella. Strawberry and Nutella. <laughs> That looks amazing. Sugary. Yeah, it is. No, that's a ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. What you got, Deb? Oh, Hawaiian. Yeah. Are you all right there, Evie? It's so good. Is, is that so good? Mm. When you go to the Chinese, order the beef and marmite dish. Oh, marmite. phenomenal. Phenomenal. I don't, I don't think that should be thin. They put in everything. Chicken and marmite. They do noodles, everything. Do you think they just had a massive jar of no. marmite and they I, needed to use it? I then, the next day, went home and yeah. made pancetta and marmite pasta. It was really good. Really good. Yeah. yeah. You have done so well in eating all of that. Was it delicious? Yeah. Yeah. Banana and Nutella. Crap. Right. The white kingdom awareness. Yeah. Right, so what goes on here? You need to bash it up. Bash it up. Okay. Right. Then. Oh, this is going to take you ages to do all these. <laughs> I took the money already. <laughs> <laughs> so smooth it all out. Yeah. Like it. Oh, it's looking yummy. It yeah. is looking it's good, big. isn't it? That is it's looking it's very it's my buffet. tasty. It's my Look, delicious. Roll it. Roll it up. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see how I'm this curious. works. I'm curious, yes. I TikToks and yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Look at that. It's just ice cream. Oh, cream. Wow. That's like oddly satisfying, mm. isn't it? His arm's definitely gonna hurt. Yeah. <laughs> gonna need a rest after after we leave. Look at that. Oh, you know what you want? Yeah. Delicious. There you yeah. go. Right, so next one. What are you right. adding? Look at this. Yeah. This looks delicious. <laughs> Smells good as well. This is Mia's being done now. Looks good. This lady's doing exceptionally well for her second day on the job. She's really got the hang of this. <laughs> Naomi and I are sharing one because I was like, this is a whopper. What you got there, darling? Banana and Nutella. Oh. Mum's waiting for lemon and sugar. Lemon and sugar is actually the best taste for a pancake. The OG. It is. Happy birthday, dear Evie. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Oh, darling, you are very welcome. We all in? You're all in. Oh, <laughs> that is so kind. Well, that was delicious, wasn't it, Mum? Oh, it was really nice. That was very good. <laughs> Let's go. Right, that's my mum dropped off. Just going back to Deb's, dropping Deb off, picking up our cases, and then we'll be on our way to Devon. We're just back at Deb. She's going to give us a rendition on the piano while we have a cup of tea. <laughs> She's not giving us a rendition on the piano, no. Uh, we are going to have a cup of tea though before we set off down to Devon. It's 20 past four. We are just leaving Northampton to head down to Brixham. And Beth 
is just leaving Brixham to head to Northampton. I wonder if we'll go the same route and if we will cross paths. Let's see, let's see. Beautiful late afternoon. Let's make our way to Brixham. So we just got to Bristol, journey's been absolutely fine. We're actually gonna cross paths with Bethy. Yeah, we're actually gonna cross in about 10 miles, I reckon. Well, you know I said the journey was going well. Well, the minute I said that, this happened. I th we think there's a blockage in the road. We've come to a standstill, we're hoping that that blockage is just being cleared. I've just rang Bethy and I said that we would be passing her at some point. Oh, what? Uh, there's a crash ahead. Not actually that far ahead, so hoping everybody is okay. Oh, this isn't good. Well, how bizarre. We're on the move. There seems to be no dramas. It was crazy. There was one car with his hazards on that had broken down in one lane. Who knew what that was all about? But the great news is, no accident. We've arrived. So we're in. We're here. We have arrived. We're just going to unpack. Get everything sorted and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to Monday. It's pouring. It is pouring with rain today. And the weather forecast says it's going to pour with rain all day and all evening. It doesn't matter that it's raining though because I have got some work just about to set up there. Glenn, he's got an interview this morning. Fingers crossed for Mr Warner. Oh, Mr Warner's back back from his interview I'll let you know how that went when we hear I'm feeling slightly cross with myself today no I'm feeling more than slightly I am feeling cross with myself I was given some Easter eggs I'm not going to eat the chocolate that's what I declared oh, I ate the chocolate now I feel sick and fed up with myself I'm very disappointed I can't be trusted I cannot be trusted around chocolate Let's go to the shops, get something delicious for dinner tonight. It would have been my dad's birthday today and I like to do a nice dinner. Nice shepherd's pie tonight with a sweet potato cheesy topping. Mm, that's what we're going for. Our trolley's got a wonky wheel and Glenn's not happy about it. I have never seen that supermarket that busy. Heaving, heaving. Anyone would think it was Easter this week. It was busy though. It was like Christmas. Wasn't it? it was like Christmas, wasn't it? All busy, busy. We were just umming and ahhing whether to head straight back to the caravan or stop somewhere for coffee. We've opted for the stopping somewhere for coffee. At the end of this road, there is a beach and there is a cafe. Welcome to Broadsands. Now, this. Is the car park that we got stuck in. Glenn wants to go again. Look, he's parking in an unmarked bay. He just don't care. It's like, yeah, I'm going to have that. If you look in front of us, let me zoom in. That is the viaduct where the steam train goes over. We're just going to go for a little walk before our coffee. It's looking a bit grey. People are opening up their beach huts, ready for the summer season. That was invigorating. It's just starting to rain, so let's head back to the caravan. We're in, we're in. Let's make some delicious food for tonight's dinner. Mr. Warner, well, he's gonna do some admin, life admin. This dinner's looking mighty fine. We're off to bingo. We almost didn't. The weather outside is horrible. It's dark, it's cold, it's rainy, it's horrible. And I was like, oh, shall we stay in? But it was like, no, come on, let's go. I can't get you into focus, but we didn't win at bingo. We were so close, but no winning. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow when hopefully you'll be back in focus. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Tuesday. Guess what? It's not raining. No. 
I'm just about to start work. Mr. Warner, still in bed. Hopefully he'll get up soon and make me a coffee. But for now, I'm gonna crack on and I'll catch you later. So I've got a couple of things to tell you about. Number one, I can't hear out of this ear. It's completely blocked. Secondly, Glenn has snapped his glasses. So between us, we can't hear and we can't see. It's not going well. We are going to get some glasses today. And finally, I'd like to thank the person who left a comment on YouTube with some suggestions of places to walk. We are heading to one of those right now. Hopefully going for a new life somewhere. So here's where we're heading, Stover Country Park. It looks lovely. We've underestimated the mud factor. We haven't brought appropriate footwear and it did rain a lot yesterday. We're going to have a stroll, see if we can find a good path. Lots of work going on here. New visitor centre, new toilets. So Stover Lake was created in the late 1700s as part of the designed landscape of Stover Park owned by the Templar family from 1765 and then by the Duke of Somerset from 1827 to 1927. So the 14 acre lake was used for boating, fishing and ice skating. Otters and water shrews reside in the lake. Since the 1990s the lake deteriorated. However two reed beds constructed in 2019 by Highways England now filter out pollutants from the nearby A38 dual carriageway. There is so much wildlife, there's two robins there, we've seen multiple squirrels, blue tits, ducks, it's obviously a haven for wildlife. Well the first ducklings I've seen of 2024, she's got a right brood there. What an amazing spot for a picnic. Look at these picnic benches. Aren't they just gorgeous? Oh, here we go. The Heritage Trail is a level walk of four and a half miles. The circular section starts here and can be followed in either direction. Oh, wow. Look at this. Beautiful. Welcome to Stover Country Park Aerial Walkways. Oh, let's go. What a beautiful place this is. There's dredging going on there. And something going on here. Let's go have a look. That's all something to do with the dredging. I don't know quite how that's all working, but it's a, it looks like an engineering feat. Well, what a beautiful place Stover Park is. I really, really enjoyed that. We will be coming back here. Yeah, I've got plans for a picnic, drier weather, more sensible footwear. Definitely a place we're going to come back to. Here we are at Trago. We're we're gonna, place. Yeah, we're not getting them out home, Mr. Warner. We are here for a pair of glasses. That's a We're here for reading glasses, Mr. Nice. Warner. Oh, <sighs> handsome. So, Mr. Warner didn't like the glasses they had. There was a really small selection, so we'll have to get some from somewhere else. What do you call a pair of peacocks sitting on the fence? I haven't got an answer to that one, I don't know. Well, they've got some interesting looking tea, haven't they? Toffee chai, strawberry and lemonade, lemongrass and ginger, apple strudel. Glenn's flat white looks lovely. I've gone for the lemon and ginger tea and Glenn's having a toasted tea cake. No cake for me. I just picked up these mushrooms for dinner tonight. Look at the selection in there. They look gorgeous. We're just going to bob into Tesco, see if we can get Glenn some readers. Well, it's that time of day again, isn't it? It's dinner time. And I'm really looking forward to tonight's dinner. I saved some of the meat from yesterday's shepherd's pie. 
I may water down the sauce with a bit of red wine. Oh yeah, let's get those Mediterranean vibes in. And then, look at these beauties that I picked up today. I'm gonna to do some garlic mushrooms. I've never used mushrooms as beautiful as this. Here we go, Mr. Warner. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. It's a whole year since our friend Paul died today. A whole year. Our thoughts are with Zara, Mark, and Paul's mum and dad, Joan and Jan. This is such a, a tough day for them. I'm also very conscious of the the gap, the space the space that Paul has left in our lives. I'm thinking today about his amazing sense of humour. How we would laugh at the pub on a Tuesday night. Oh man, did we used to laugh. It, he was hilarious. So yeah, thinking of Paul today, thinking of our friend Zara and, and Paul's family who miss him so much. So, I finished work a couple of hours ago, to be honest, and we've just sort of sat around, which is quite unlike us. To be honest, we was going to go outside, and it poured with rain. And then the sun came out, we was going to go out, and then it poured with rain. It's a theme for today. It has just stopped raining, but we can see more rain coming. So, yeah, we are going to get out. We're just not not altogether motivated today <sighs> we're dressed we're ready to go out can you hear that that is the wind whistling around the caravan it is absolutely boring are you feeling a bit low energy mr warner mm. oh it's so rainy out there It's just getting worse. <laughs> it stopped raining. Quick, let's go. We've decided we're going out for lunch. So come on, let's go. We lied about it stopping raining. It is still raining, but just not as much. At this stage, we haven't decided where we're going for lunch, but we just made that decision to get out. It's cold today as well, Mr. Warner. Just five degrees out there. There's someone out there windsurfing, Mr. Warner. So we had a lovely burger. That was delicious. Glenn's now in search of an ice cream. Glenn gave up on the ice cream. The weather is so cold and horrible outside. We've come in to here for a coffee. The rain, well, the rain was crazy, but there was a rainbow bonus. That was a bonus. We're heading back to the caravan now. It is the greyest of grey days. Mr. Warner's just said, days like this really get him down. We're off to bingo. Oh yes, we are. Mr. Warner was lucky last night. Yeah. What did you win? 21, 21 pounds. 21 pounds? Paid for the rest of the week. Yeah, come on, let's go. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Thursday. Oh man. We were woken up this morning with the rain hammering on the caravan roof. Last night, we had icy rain yeah we were sitting here we was like what's that building up on the window ledges oh that'll be ice it's that cold it's horrible outside doesn't bother me though because i'm just about to sit down and do some work so that's my morning covered i can't hear out of this here completely cannot hear i need to get that sorted at some point it's becoming an annoyance now yeah it is anyway I'm going to sit down, do some work, and I'll catch you later. So that's it. I finished work for the Easter weekend. Yes, I have. So I'm going to pack this away. Sounds like my milking. We're venturing out. Yes, we are. In the car. It's so windy. 
so we've driven down into Brixham to try and dodge the rain showers. It's just starting to rain. Yeah. This looks cute. Look, they do makers' experiences. So we've come in here out of the rain. We've got the last table. We're right next to, can you see that? Beautiful fire. It's lovely and warm. But as quick as it started draining, it's now stopped. But we've already ordered coffee, so we're gonna sit in here, enjoy a coffee. The Glen spotted something on the menu called crabby fries. So do you fancy trying crabby fries, Glen? Mm. Go on, it's gotta be done. These look special, don't they? The rain stopped for a moment, Mr. Warner. We're going to actually go and explore some of the little roads that we've not explored while we've been down here. Let's go and have a look up here. This one's a calf burner. Look at all these places. It's a right mix of different properties. Well, that was energetic. We're so close to the car, but it's absolutely pouring. We've just ducked in here, out of the rain. We've made it back to the car. Happy Easter weekend, everybody. We're gonna go back to the caravan and just hunker down. So, since we've got in, I've made some delicious flapjack. Yes, I have. I've just sent the newsletter out. Just in case you don't get the newsletter, I've just said I'm going back to basics. I'm not gonna do the newsletter anymore, so that was the last one. Good morning and welcome to good friday it's not raining at this moment it has been raining though and it is very windy glenn well he's just walked to the shop to see if he can pick up something delicious for breakfast i've been video editing this morning nice leisurely video editing it felt like i'd got all day to do it it must be about 11 o'clock let me have a look 20 past 11 that's what it is i've only just got showered and dressed I'd like to say my jeans are fitting me more more loosely. Now I've given up eating a lot of cake. They don't seem any different. <sighs> is it worth it, I ask? Is it worth it? I'm sure it is. I'm going to ring my mum, have a quick chat, say hello, and then I'm going to make some jewellery today. Yes, it's the sort of day where I'm just going to do a bit of crafting, make something lovely. I love this green colour. I'm well used to making these necklaces now. And I love making them. They're really easy and fun to do. I'm going to have a go at another design. Before I make anything though, I'm going to eat this delicious bacon sandwich that Mr Warner's made me. So I'm using a new knot. This one is the Lark's Head Knot. It's a new one to me. So I'm having a bit of a practice first. Glenn, while I'm doing this, what are you going to go and do? I'm going to fall off the roof. Don't Not fall off the roof. I'm going to take the gutter in down this side and retake the uh, retake that. Okay, <laughs> okay. This is not how you do it. I can do the first one absolutely fine. It's the second one that I struggle with. Ta da! Oh, the wind keeps getting under that and causing the flapping. Yeah, he's done grey cover over it as well. Oh. So it's just separating, so I've got this like decent clear stuff. Let's get back to this. I'm really happy with this. This was just like a practice, but it's really simple and you can see how to make a lovely piece of chunky jewellery. Now I've had a practice, I'm going to have a go at making a proper necklace. I've got myself into a right old state. I can't find the end. I cannot believe how much of this rope that you need. The instructions I'm following say I need two pieces. The first part is one and a half metres, second part four metres. That's a lot. I still want to finish the gutter in just in time. It is pouring. And look, I have finished this necklace. And I can't tell you how pleased i am with it i think it looks absolute fab we've had a break in the rain so we're strolling into town oh we've just met fran it was so lovely to have a chat <laughs> we're gonna have to go in a coffee shop we came out of the coffee shop thinking it had stopped raining but we were fooled it is sunny and raining at the same time you know what the bonus of 
sunshine and rain is, don't you? Yeah, rainbow. I've just spotted one. Can you see the rainbow? It is quite faint, but it's definitely there. We're bumping into all the people today. We just bumped into Glenn's friend Gently. His name's Steve. His, his name is Steve. But There's we only call two him. people in the, in the country called him Gently and that's me and his brother. So we just bumped into Steve, had a quick chat. So we're continuing our stroll while the sun is shining. We're walking along here. It's a dodgy old game. I mean, look at the clouds. You can see the rain. If the rain comes and we're down this far, there's no shelter. Well, we have walked up from town. I've struggled, I've struggled today. I mean, I've got a rucksack of shopping on my back. We've made it. Oh, I'm knackered. Well, dinner was a disaster. I'd cooked this delicious dinner. As I was cutting the chicken, the chopping board wasn't on the worktop properly. And basically I dropped it all over the floor. All over the floor, I was so sad. I was devastated. I just looked at our dinner on the floor and I was just sad. Anyway, it was fortunate that I'd cooked loads of chicken and there was a couple of bits left. Not quite the dinner that I had planned, but what we did have was still delicious. Well, Mr Warner, that was not a bad week. It was a little bit wet and windy in places, but... A little bit. It's <laughs> been shocking. The weather's been shocking. It has been shocking, but it's been so good to be down here for the whole week as well. Oh. An opportunity to really relax. If you do not get our newsletter, you won't have seen that I have decided it's time to go back to basics. I'm not going to be doing the letters, not going to be doing the newsletters. We're going to shut the shop. We're just going to keep it simple. Just videos from us in the future. Remembering what brings us joy in, in doing these videos. I just want to say a few thank yous. Thank you to Judy and Jim. Janice and Donna and Cathy. I'm just going to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Buying us a coffee. Yeah, thank you to everybody who has supported us. Whether buying us a coffee, buying from the shop, getting a letter, however, thank you. Oh, talking of people supporting us, Mr. Warner, 4,000. 4,000. Yeah, 4,000 followers. I like the word friends. 4,000 friends, yeah. 4, friends we've got. Yeah. And I love it. Tip I love over. it. Yeah, love it. Thank you. So we'll see you next week. Next week's half in Brixham and half back at my mum's doing the final final, final week empty. yeah yeah it's all happening next week it's all happening so next week. hope you can join us take care have a great week and we'll see you soon bye, bye.